All right, we are back. The Wrestling Council, guys. It's me, it's me, it's CBB. And that intro, because of what happened on AEW Dynamite this week, means a lot more than it normally does. I guys. when I saw that. I was like, oh. <laughs> come on, don't be hating. All right. I like DDP, but that, I'm like. I liked him too 20 years ago. Yeah, dude, come on. I'm like, dude. Okay, okay. So let me get oh. this straight. You got to. Oh, <laughs> you just start right into it. All right, let's no, go. No. <laughs> you got a guy in his mid-60s and a guy in his mid-50s with a young guy that you're trying to hopefully get over. And then they're facing MJF in the, <laughs> the picture in the play. Anyway, we are the Wrestling Council, guys. I am uh, hosting today on my channel, uh, Comic Book Bob. To my left, I have uh, we have Sexual Chocolate, Antonio Bryce. Hold on, are you on both poles? <laughs> <laughs> Down below me, we got Big Country, Yul Carter. And then off in the court, we have our returning brother, Mr. Boogie Bentley. Cheers, Yule. Badass uh, Boogie Bentley. Yeah, boy, we get the whiskey and, uh, So we got a lot to – we got – God, we got a lot to cover this mm. week, guys. So yeah. a lot of stuff. But first off, we need to cover uh, the awards. We uh, we did our picks for the best of last show. We have the results for that. Boogie, let's I, hear it. All right. We did this on Comic Cast this week, too, and they wanted to know every percentage and every little detail. Do you guys want that or just the uh, I just want to know who won. Thank, oh, you. Who won. Thank you, Antonio. Maybe I like need- uh, if I can't believe it, if I'm incredulous. Yeah, okay, that's fair. <laughs> or if it, right, was close. if it was close. Or what a recount. <laughs> let me I get just want to hear who won. I don't let me care start. Let me start. I'll start here. Uh, 2019 Best of Awards, Best Promotion. The funny part about this is the winner. What do you guys think the winner is? I mean, it's AEW. AEW, hands down, 57% of the vote. The funny part is the WWE main roster got one vote. <laughs> one one yeah, lonely I, vote. I voted for the EW the main, main roster. roster. <laughs> Did you really? You were the one vote? Yeah, because I don't think, because I, I just don't think. Uh, you know, I want AEW to be successful, but hey, come on, man. Vince is killing them hands down. Okay, but well, yo, okay, if we're talking purely on money and purely on view, I'm talking entertainment value is what my vote was. Sure, on. but you can't you cannot deny that AEW had the biggest impact this year. You can't. We don't use impact. Yeah, we <laughs> wouldn't do it. Yeah, I was like, it's oh, kind of like it's kind of like my, you see my language, you'll every time there's a uh, <laughs> a promo on the WWE and somebody says impact, I'm like, don't say impact. Yeah, it's kind of like comic books in our in our poll. TKO Studios was in the mix, and it's because what Bob just said they made an impact, right? What they did, they're not selling them, they're not slinging the most comics, but yeah, they, they changed the game. Out. Yeah, they put some good books out, but the this Mark is Phoenix. this is yeah. Wait a second, TKO one? No, no, no. They came in second. Two. It was close though. Marvel. It's freaking Twitter, <laughs> man. What do you think? One Marvel, of course. Marvel one. <laughs> Okay, 2019 best angle of the year. This one, well, it wasn't really close either. Second place was Becky versus Ronda, 28%. Kofi Mania with 39% of the vote. Uh, best promo. Chris Jericho won easily with 41%. We did get a comment on that one that said the Miz does not belong in oh. any category. Why do people hate on him? I think it's it's a 15 year career. Right. It's the cool thing to hate on him. (laughs) It is. It's stupid. I mean, you got to look at the way the WWE is using him, man. I mean, they haven't exactly used him exactly the way they should. I mean, some of that is now, at least this in the last two years, he's 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 daddy Miz. And so Daddy Miz doesn't want to do, I think he he get another push out of Vince, but he just had another baby. So (laughs) he's like. Yeah, he still has really he has work. good good matches. Yeah, always delivers good good promos. Like I'm, I, I'm interested to see what happens with him now that uh, Morrison's back. That's going to be interesting. I thought Morrison. I thought him and they were going to set up more him and Morrison going at each other. Since Morrison's one of the only guys when he got into the WWE, Miz has always said that Morrison was was cool with him. But yeah. you know, Morrison lets uh, guys bang his girlfriend and doesn't say anything because he doesn't want to be fired. <laughs> I mean. But am I saying something this a lot? Was his girlfriend? No yeah, more. Well, 
<laughs> I kind I kind of like what they did with Miz and Morrison because it it yeah. just plays into the whole fiend angle of he brings out the worst in people. So why wouldn't Miz turn heel and, and roll with Morrison? He turns he turns them back into who they were. Yeah. Uh, tag team of the year. Young, young Bucks. Young Bucks, 34%. New Day had 31%. And I was like, how close was the New Day going? Yeah. I was surprised the revival was all the way down at 22%. Well, dude, the way that the WWE is burying them. You know. I don't base that on what I've my vote. Yeah, but, but you but didn't a lot, vote but the way that a lot of people right? vote, that's how they're gonna vote. No, I voted Young Bucks, so, so it's pretty good. Revival got that much, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess with the Young Bucks and the New Day both in the poll. So I mean, they're they're very talented. Uh, I hope uh I hope things go well for them this year. <laughs> what are you so, saying, Yule? I'm saying uh they have different contracts, so if one were to leave, oh really? It's going to be a wait yeah. until the other one is able to leave. Also, they're not they're, they're not going to split those guys up, though, man. Yeah, but then yeah, staying but in the WWE, to, yeah, that means they got to stay. <laughs> yeah, neither yeah. one of them are, are resigning, so it's like you know that's they're they're clearly going. But I suspect you know one will be uh he'll be wrestling for Dick Boy out for his bar wrestling or going to Ring of Honor for a couple months with Marty or. You know, or heading over to Japan. To, we got to get yeah. into that Marty Scroll stuff, man. Oh I, man, I there's am a lo- floored. Oh, there's floored. a lot of stuff going on with that. But real quick, uh, shout out in uh, the chat for uh, Joe Martin and uh, Brian Caraway. Thanks for being here, guys. Uh, go ahead, boy, boogie. What's next? Well, before we move on, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up for Comic Book Bob. Subscribe to the channel. We got to grow Comic Book Bob's channel. Uh, that's the goal. I'm wasting away. Let's uh, let's say match of the year for last. So we'll go female yeah. wrestler of the year was not even close, and it was coincidence that this this poll went out the the day all the drama with Tessa Blanchard started. So uh, Becky Lynch easily fifty seven percent of the vote. Nobody's surprised there. Nobody, Mel- what about Shayna Baszler? How far she didn't get much, huh? No, not much, not much love, right? Now I just lost the I lost the. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> she got seventeen. Per, her and Shirai both got seventeen percent. Becky Lynch got every vote. Yeah, every vote. So when you look at it. second, yeah, 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 man. But that's no surprise. Nope. Two thousand nineteen male wrestler of the year. All none of our polls were close. Anybody want to guess? Yeah, Jericho fifty three percent. Wow, he's that, just a total I, I, package. Still, dude, I'm not surprised, man. That guy is just. He, He's just entertainment personified. Wait, hold on. So I got to ask a question about Jerry because he had an interesting interview uh, about a week or so ago. And, uh, you know, because he's been getting some comments about the dad bod that he has been displaying as of late. Cause, Did you see the flex, though? Yeah. yeah. And, um, and someone asked him about it, and he actually says that he put that weight on intentionally. Lies. Yeah. Yeah. Lies. So yeah. did I. So did I, Antonio. So <laughs> he did put I. the weight on intentionally as part of his character. Yeah, you're not supposed to like him, and it helps. Without a well, doubt. that's lies. Like, <laughs> hey, you know what? I think I it's think he took a look promo. At, <laughs> I, I think he took a look at what like it was like you know all those guys that you know, went over to Japan originally man they they didn't have to really be uh cut and thrill, man I could uh I could stop doing as much uh, all this DDPY and just chill out for a little bit his problem is he drinks vodka straight that's his problem I saw wow. a 2018 Jericho and a 2019 Jericho <laughs> yeah. and or yeah something like that and there was a big difference yeah oh yeah <laughs> he did it on purpose for the business. exactly I mean you can't just do that you can't just get that fat. I liked his that response quick. too, where he showed the picture of the double bicep, and it's like, yeah, dude, you're showing from the chest up. Like, I, I'm jacked. Why do you think my camera is right here? Because I'm <laughs> jacked from the chest up. But you get down to the gut, nipple height, man. Story. That's where yeah. the camera. That's the, where the sweet spot is. So, he does uh, chest, back, and <laughs> biceps and triceps. So, um, did he end John Moxley's career? Is that what happened? I. Uh, oh God, no! Oh my God. I was worried about Wait, it. I, was, come I mean, on. I liked it. I liked it. <sighs> yeah. All I right. So, it. female wrestler, no tag team. What? No, we're uh, there's only one left. It's match of the year. Does anybody want to guess what it is? That's right. I'm saying it's. Uh, I'm saying it's Dustin Cody. Dustin yeah. Cody easily forty six percent. Cole Gargano at Takeover New York got thirty one percent. Yeah. And no love for New Japan. I am gonna. T- I am, I'm telling you right now. This is my New Year's resolution. I'm going to turn you guys on to New Japan. 
that I'm gonna what make... has to happen is um, our our followers on Twitter are easily WWE fans. We gotta yeah. we gotta mix it up. That's 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 the thing is half the people that follow us half. 98% of the people that follow us on Twitter don't even listen to the show. So <laughs> <laughs> that's a, yeah, there you go. But that's it. That's the, uh, the 2019 awards. Okay. I'm looking forward to this year, man, because I, I've Damn. got my list. I'm tracking everything this year. So we'll be ready to rock and roll yep. when December rolls around. That's uh, actually something uh, I wanted to, uh, uh, something I wanted to do uh, here today, man. Uh, when we get in here, so I want to, I want to hear some predictions for this year, man. Um, but uh, real quick, do you want to go? You guys want to go over uh, the uh, the shows real quick here, and then we'll get into some of the more spicy news. Well, hold up before we do all that. Yeah, gotta. I mean, we gotta open. The, you got the title of your show. People have passed. I was away. gonna. Do, I was gonna do that, but you started. <laughs> Tell him, Antonio. Man. Why we, that should have been. If I'm being honest, that should have. I mean, people died. We just opened the show. Yes. <laughs> we needed some sad sad memorial, music man. To open this. Exactly. We need well, a ten count. We need a bell. Yeah, oh, that'd be good. I'm, like, I'm sitting there going, what are we going to do? Bury Rocky Johnson dying like halfway into the show. <laughs> oh, yeah. Rocky Johnson died. I forgot. Yeah. So man, so La- so man, Rocky Johnson, man. And uh, what? Uh, <laughs> Pyro, for, what's it? Pop up. Pyro, I can't believe Pampo for Lava. It sounds like an STD. Um, he was a big wrestler yeah. in other territories. And uh, Macho Pam- man. Pampero Firo. For- yeah, Pam- yeah. And Macho Man stole the. Oh, yeah. Yeah. From him. Yeah. yeah. That was. Macho Man, that's where he got the oh yeah from was from him. Wait, who said that? That was on the Cornette this week, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, I heard that somewhere this week. Yeah, I'm, I'm, hey, Jim's an expert. I'm giving him his, his props, man. But uh, yeah, so him. And then obviously I got really bummed out when I heard La Parka died. And then I found out it wasn't the real La Parka. So messed yeah. up, man. It's that's so the thing. Up. And then and I, I did some research, dude. There's been like six of them. Yeah, the original though is still, still alive. alive, but he changed his yeah. name to L.A. Parker. All right, yes, because and by the, the original we H. mean the WCW chairman, right? right? The guy that the chairman yeah, the, one, board. the one we all care about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What everybody thought it was, they're like, no, and then they found out. They I did not know until oh. Antonio sent us that message, but and the, it was funny if you listen to the beginning of <laughs> AEW. Uh, Jim Ross had to say. Triple A's La Parka, and everybody, I'm telling you, everybody thinks it's the guy they watched in WCW during the, the Monday Night Wars. He's still alive. <laughs> it's you so know, funny. people are like blowing that guy's phone up. He's like, yeah. like <laughs> Hey, Holmes, I heard you died, Holmes. What's going on? <laughs> You're still alive. Maybe he can Why tag with Mexican, DDP man? or something. <laughs> he's Mexican. I don't know, but yeah, 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 but I did, I did some research. I'm like, good God, man! And that's that's why I put that picture up there. Every one of those guys is a different part of the parka, and I'm like, oh my God! Yeah, they, they threatened to sue the original guy because he was still trying to use the gimmick, and they said, hey, yeah. we own the, the character. You don't wrestle for us anymore. We own the character. So if you keep calling yourself that, then you gets the beats with them legal, them, yep. them, them legal peoples. So uh, but, he um, had to. Yeah, I mean, it's like, I mean, but the, tell me, I'm not the only person that when I found out it was the other player, I went, oh well, then and then they're like, yeah, like, oh, I'm a terrible person. If yeah, that. Well, like, I don't I care like, now that it's not him. Yeah, same that's what I, was saying. I got all bummed out, and then I said, oh, my little park is still alive. <laughs> <laughs> that's all that matters. Oh, oh, okay. my God. Yeah, man, there was a my lot. Parka. I just get there's a lot. Like they say, then they always go in threes, man. So like you know, and then uh, the Rock lost his dad, man, but. Damn, uh, a lot so of Tony Atlas, Atlas, Rocky Johnson. Him, Dude, have you ever seen that picture where they put the two of them next to each other? Like, Ugh. like when you when you look at the Rock and then you look at his dad separately, they don't really look that much like each other. But when you put them next to each other, like, oh, okay. Well, I see remember, it now. the Rock's not black; he's Samoan. Everybody <laughs> forgets that. Oh my God! So they're but, like, um, who's this black guy next to Dwayne the Rock Johnson? And why is this Samoan guy named Dwayne? But um, yeah, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm I'm just say saying. It? Yeah, he just he plays up well, the whole point. Even when he, and when he says Samoa, well, he's he goes, got the tattoo to prove it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, goes, <laughs> I know. Have you ever heard? He was in Rock Moana, Rock? man. Come on, exactly. <laughs> no, but when you hear the Rock say Samoa, he goes Samoa. Samoa. He, does, he, does, he actually puts the accent on it, like he's like 
like he's uh you know uh the big dog or anything uh, do some more remember remember crush from uh wwe yeah, when, the Kona when, Crush. When he when he changed his uh when he changed his gimmick with when he because he was originally part of Demolition, and then he changes his. He's like, I come from the Great Island of Samoa. It's like it's like, dude, why are you saying it like that? And they brought yeah, because uh, I'm glad you. Uh oh, the Kona Crush. Yeah. 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 A lot of people forget that that he was part of the Head Shrinkers when they brought him in. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. That's crazy, but I love I love the, the, the Samoan SWAT team over in WCW. Oh, I love, dude, when they came out to the friggin' uh, Halloween uh, theme song, man, oh, I love the Samo- the SST. But uh, Brian Car- Brian Caraway put it in the hashtag, not my La Parca. <laughs> Antonio, you freezing up, dude. Well, he isn't in his normal place, so we can yep. just, like, tickle him awake or something. Yeah. So... Oh, Lord God, help me. Uh, we were talking about some shows. Did anybody watch a TNA pay-per-view? Uh, I watched uh, part of it. I watched one match of it. Yep, I think that's what everybody did. I also saw the preview show that led up to it. Uh, it's like about a half an hour. Uh, so we're talking about Tessa Blanchard versus... Uh, is that right, Lord. Tessa Blanchard? Tessa Blanchard. Yeah. Who called this months ago? Versus Who? Sammy what? Callahan. Oh. Oh, dude! And uh, it was the writing was on the wall, man. It was a it was a match. Did anybody like it? You know I, what? I didn't watch it. I have a comparison with this and an a, and an AEW match, and why this one I didn't like and an AEW match I might not have liked was actually quite good. And um, which a uh, which AEW match? You it was the to? Darby Allen versus Pac match. And the thing about Darby Allen is that he is constantly trying to get distance between him and another wrestler so that he can hurl himself at another wrestler. Mm-hmm. And every like he does a somersault and gets in a position to throw himself at a wrestler into the turnbuckle. And I and really, I really think, think. Oh damn! Oh damn! Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, we're rocking really and rolling think... tonight. Yeah, That's yeah. what. <laughs> The Tessa Blanchard show that should have been like. Oh my god! This is the greatest thing ever, thing Antonio. Ever, Antonio. <laughs> this is I, I, this audio, audio is that. This is hold up. I'm trying to fix it. I'm like I'm trying to fix it. I'm trying. I'll come back in on the regular thing. I'm trying to fix it because I was okay. like, oh no, I was like, in the middle. this is the worst show ever. All right, all right. And, <laughs> It's on my it's show. On my Thanks, show. Man. Thanks, man. I'm really glad it's really 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 I can't even tell who's talking. <laughs> All right. I, I, I went ahead and muted his mic until he gets everything set. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. But, um, okay. But I, you I know, know you, you forgot just... one thing. Darby yes. Allen is a man. All right. So, again, we were talking about – I'm talking about a person that's obviously slighter than the person that they're going up against in both cases. Mm-hmm. Tessa tries to stand there and go toe to toe with Sammy Callahan. This is a horribly booked situation. Oh, wow. Uh, And Darby Allen, again, he knows that he can't just go toe to toe with this guy. He's got to do something a little bit extracurricular. I mean, uh, special, I mean. Yeah. And in doing so, his match is a lot more believable, even though he's going up against someone. I mean, yes, you're right. They're both men. In that one match, and yeah, but I thought reason. I thought you were leading into that Tessa wrestled a similar style to Darby Allen. No, it she way worse. She should have. Is the yeah. Problem. Yeah. Yeah. Is that it's, it's it's both it's two matches where one opponent is clearly outmatched. Here's my problem with the whole thing, and you can call me whatever you want to call me. Go for it. You take the best male male football player, baseball player, basketball player, volleyball player, wrestler, fighter, anything. The best male in a physical contest is going to beat the best female every time, every time. The only, the only thing I'm saying is, aside from that, it was a horribly booked match. Yeah, <laughs> like they could have. All right, so another point: both matches. Uh, Sammy Callahan works over her knee almost immediately. She is in pain and suffering, and the only thing she can do is ultimately go toe to toe, and then get a couple moves off and win. Darby Allen 
is using his speed. He's trying to get his stuff. And then later, as the match goes on, he gets hurt in his legs and can't do it anymore. It was a better build, even though he lost ultimately. Um, and that was, it would have been, it would, if they would have paced that women or, or Tessa match with Callahan. <laughs> what is what is going on, on Antonio? Are you, <laughs> what is happening? I feel like this phone is in his pocket now. <laughs> I was just gonna tell us, like, dude, give me the phone. Uh, you get your stuff oh, together. Phew. He showed us the laptop now. <laughs> Thank goodness. Uh, I'm, gonna, yourself, hang on, I'm, I'm gonna unmute him. I'm gonna unmute him. <laughs> so I can talk. Hang on, like, everybody, shut up. Every shut up. I, 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 I'm rebooting my laptop so I can come back in because this is this conversation about Tess. She exposed the business. Why can't you plug your headphones into your phone? Because it doesn't work. This is a Google Pixel. It doesn't have a headphone thing. You have to have a blue. This is a Bluetooth type situation. I don't have Bluetooth Technology. headphones. Technology. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And this, this phone, everything works on Bluetooth. And I don't have Bluetooth oh, headphones. God. I have traditional oh, headphones. God. So it sucks. How about this? We'll, about we'll this? pause we'll, the test we'll of until you, you come back. Well, I'm, I'm trying to come back because the, the internet's almost back. Okay, hold on. Let me see. But I'm trying to get back. But that, oh, wow. that whole wow. thing set, you know, there was so much stuff I wanted to talk about with that. And I was like, yeah. oh, you know, you can, you can dress, dress up, as up as a Battlestar Galactica character for um, Halloween. We'll call you Boomer. We'll call you Boomer. What do you think? What do you think? Oh, my God. Oh, but oh, this. But okay. this, this we just drove this thing off a cliff. <laughs> that was the character, right? Boomer. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay, anyway. Boomer. Okay. Boomer. Okay. So while while he's getting that together, man, let's talk a little bit about uh, let's talk about some of the wrestling. I'm going to talk about SmackDown was off. Well, SmackDown was largely awful. Yeah. Um, I can't even really remember what happened. It opened <laughs> with the Miz it. deal, which, like I yeah. said, I, I yeah. did. Li- I did like the Miz um, turning heel and going with Morrison. I, I like that. Overall, dude, what is up with Elias? What is up with Elias? I, I think he's another point? guy. They don't know what they want to do with him. Like the guitar gimmick, it's funny when it happens in the back, but when you bring him out to the ring for no reason and 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 you waste five minutes of him Antonio's playing a song down with him. He can thumbs up, thumbs down everything I'm saying. <laughs> but it's the truth. It's the truth. What's the point? Is he supposed to be a heel? Is he supposed to be a baby face? Some, he doesn't one, wrestle. One week. And then the thing is, like, even as he's getting cheers, then he like, slams the city he's in. It's like, what the hell? You can't figure it out. Yeah. and I think he was best when he was like introducing what happens in the show. And then like never see him again. <laughs> I like when he randomly shows up in the back playing a song, making fun of somebody, mm-hmm. and then he just wrestles also. But now they want to put him in the ring and have him singing songs. It's just stupid. Stupid. Then, I, 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 what do you think about this crap going on with uh, Mandy Rose? And, I uh, love it. I love it. Antonio hey, said. I thought – like- I, I love the gimmick. The What the hell's going on with the match, though, man? That, that, that Alexa Bliss-Mandy Rose match was awful. It was a way that the match it was doesn't always mean anything. going to be awful. Yes, the match was <laughs> meant to continue the storyline. That's it. The match was pointless. Okay. I hate that they put Alexa Bliss in it. I, yeah. I, I, why are you burying her? I would much rather Mandy well, can't wrestle. Got, Alexa Bliss had some wins in the last couple of weeks. So, uh, typical booking, you know, 50 50. Right, right. Yeah. And then, uh, then they had the, the, I, just, I can't get behind Lacey Evans, man. I, no. can't, I can't. I don't think anybody can. As a, as, a, as a face, I just can't do it. I can't. She's like a she a black hole, you know. She, she just no. We're gonna get all the, We're gonna talk about the black hole uh, when uh, we get to AEW. What about Sasha <laughs> Bank calling Lacey Evans a jarhead? That was pretty. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah. Uh, okay. And then there's the freaking Strowman versus Nakamura. Oh, that was a horrible match. It was terrible. It, my notes, all they say is didn't keep my attention at all. Yeah, yeah. that whole program. Ugh. And then the whole yeah. freaking uh, Zig, uh, Corbin Ziggler versus the Usos. Uh, Another thumbs down for Antonio. That's it. Yeah. That's it. That's yeah. that's the entire SmackDown. Four matches. Four yeah. matches. SmackDown. SmackDown was awful, but 
guys, I actually, I got to say this. I didn't hate Raw this week. Yeah, I thought Raw was okay too. I did not hate Raw. <laughs> um, Antonio hates everything. That that uh, the the way it started off, um, Randy Orton versus Drew McIntyre versus AJ Styles, and they put McIntyre over. I'm telling you, the, dude, the dude's going. He's going places. They're pushing him. They're I'm, pushing I'm him. gonna tell you right now. Uh, I was talking about us doing predictions. Here's a prediction for you. I think McIntyre is going to win the Royal Rumble. I would not be mad at that. I would not be mad. Well, now that uh, now that Kane Velasquez is in the Royal Rumble, it's obvious that Brock will not be winning it. Uh, <laughs> they're they're building towards that. So gonna, yeah, it's gonna be like oh, we know yeah. Kane versus Brock. You mean the the angle that you pushed six seven months ago? That the one thing I'll say is uh, it kind of makes me think that whoever wins the Royal Rumble will be more on the SmackDown side. Maybe uh, I can't come up with something there. But I don't maybe McIntyre will do it and then I think go I think up against if McIntyre doesn't win the Royal Rumble, he's gonna get closed and he's gonna get screwed over by somebody. I think, I think they're gonna do a major angle with him, but I would be <laughs> I would be I would not be Sorry. surprised if uh if they if they did the uh if he won the Royal Rumble. So I'm gonna I'm that I'm gonna throw that one up there. Franklin Barrett in the live chat says Antonio needs to use cards like Sammy Guevara. <laughs> <laughs> that I would be amazing. A, <laughs> I have a couple of Sammy Guevara notes when we're ready to go there. Yeah. So. Um, Rick Shea versus, uh, versus uh, Mojo Raleigh didn't care. Why is Mojo Raleigh even on the main roster? I don't know. What, are you kidding me? He's changing the 24 7 belt. I am ready for this. I can't wait to see what he's going to say. Whatever, dude. The best thing on Raw was R Truth Brock Lesnar segment. That, well, yes. R Truth was wonderful. The, no. Uh, the, the two best things. Here's the things that put. <laughs> Here's the things that put that show out of out of I don't I don't care to okay this was actually decent the uh, um what we just said our truth our truth the, the the whole the whole thing with him and and uh and, and Brock and the way the show ended the Dude, that, 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 that ending, last match was great that last yeah. last match was a lot of fun um, how about Kevin Owens hitting the flip off that screen. Oh, How that great was, awesome, was that, dude? Well, oh, that was uh, tweeted all over the place. That was yeah. fantastic, man. Yeah. Uh, Charlotte Flair versus Sarah Logan was pointless. <laughs> no, but it was, it's yeah. pointless. But you know what? And, and and one of the things they talk about with wrestling, if you've ever been in a ring, is when you when you potato somebody, when you drill them, it looks like hot garbage, and when you don't touch them, it usually looks amazing. They are beating the hell out of each other, and it looks like hot garbage. But they are killing each other. They've done it the last two weeks. Last two weeks. But what was the point of that? They, they beat the hell out of each other in the the match last. I, I think. I think the whole thing is they're going to have her screw Charlotte over in the uh, in the in the women's Royal Rumble match. I can see that. I can yeah. see that. Yeah. Sounds like WWE. She's going. She's going. She's going to sneak attack her. She's going to. She's going to steal it from her. And there's going. They're going to do something with that. I don't know. What was the point of Alistair Black and uh, Buddy Murphy having a third match just so Alistair Black could win yet again? I don't mind um, it because I like what they did with. Buddy it was Murphy a great. I like it. Like they like think they've it, got counters for each other, but come on. I think, it's the, I think it's the. Um, he's. It's kind of. It's almost. It's. It's kind of what they're doing with Hangman Page. It's like the. How can I? How can I find a way to get over this guy? How can I find a way to get over this? I know I'm better than this. And his thing the is fuse, the feud's over though. It's over. It oh, it's over. And it now Buddy Murphy is moving on. But I liked. I like. I like it. I like it. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't see it coming, but I like him with Rollins and AOP. Um, Rusev Lashley was awful. Um, the the match itself was eh, but I, I, got I, the angle is just friggin' poison. <laughs> just uh, the greatest angle ever. Viking Raiders versus Singh Brothers was one of the dumbest things I've ever seen. Why are the Singh Brothers still around? I don't know. Can we I mean, please sure. stop with the scripted promos for the Viking Raiders? Oh, oh yeah, they're not. <laughs> they can't talk. They can't talk at all. No, um, they shouldn't them. talk. They the should, them. No, they should. They're great wrestlers. Not great. Good. They're good. As they a don't team, they're need great. to talk. They don't need to talk, man. Leave no. them alone. Uh, be the, the Becky Oscar um, signing was okay. Um, the, the way it was good. Becky did a really good job. Uh, Asuka spit in her face, and Becky made sure to get her eye up in there, or hand yeah. up in the eye, and then kind of spread it around. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Eric she Rowan. Selling, oh, selling Eric, great. Too. Eric Rowan, don't care. Uh, what about Becky's promo uh, when she's like, you know, the, all, I thought Becky it was good. Did, Becky I did a good job of real. selling the promo, yeah. 
It feels authentic. It feels like she's talking. Yeah. I feel like there are and several several people on that main roster that have the balls to talk and yeah. not not read from a script. But it, it's like everybody there is walking on eggshells because they hand you a script. They tell you you got to follow it. You got to go word for word. You can only go off the cup if you're confident. You mm -hmm. know. Antonio's ready. Oh, you ready, sir? We're back. Okay. Tessa Blanchard, Sammy Callahan. I'm not bad. Oh, uh, yeah, she's, you, you, you lied to me. He, he um, was like, yeah. But, uh, okay, the, just just to finish it up, Aaron Ro uh, Eric Rowan, don't care. Um, and then the fist fight, with, there was not a whole lot of fist fighting. What's the point of a fist fight? Um, it was a good match, and the way it ended was fantastic. Fun match, but it's not a fist fight. It's a street fight. No. And, I, I, yeah, that was one of the things, like, what the hell's going on here? But, um. Yeah, this was this is what the is first, going on. This is the first one. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're making good time. Keep oh, going. All right, okay, okay. okay. We reviewed the I'm most kinda... wrestling. Antonio is the ADD factor of the show. <laughs> He's not here to take us to back to the eighties or to the territory days or so, to the Cornette podcast. If we just right, take a few right, moments right, to right, laugh right, at him, it doesn't take any time. This, <laughs> this is. Oh, he's oh, muted sorry. again. Oh, oh, he's gone. Oh, oh, I got him. I'm sorry. That was me. That was me. I'm sorry. That was me. That was me. See, this is bullshit. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be here with the team. I'm trying. I am in BFE. In in the middle of the country. I mean, I'm so far out of the country. Wait, wait, Antonio. Yeah, in the how about, about them Titans? Titans? Uh, How about them Titans? You're gonna try to talk about the Titans I, I with this train wreck going on? Yeah, the, the Titans, uh, the Titans will, will carry my into the Super Bowl. I'm praying, fingers crossed. <sighs> but yes, uh, oh, I'm, I'm burning my, my uh, oh, just a. <laughs> I'm sorry. Bob, what are you doing? I'm, try, I'm, I'm, I'm trying, trying to get because it's echoing really bad. Echoing really bad. How about this? Yeah. Nobody's gonna talk. Nobody's gonna okay. talk. Okay. No, there won't be an echo. Antonio <laughs> has the floor. <laughs> Wait. All right. Okay. Okay. Tell let me let me just so I can contribute. Okay. Tell us what you think. That was you. crap. Um. Uh. Tessa. Uh, Tessa Blanchard. I and I don't care if she's racist or not. I just don't care. I think letting her go over like that just lost all credibility that your championship had period i don't care if who hugged her uh who says she's a racist who she spit on any of that kind of stuff i'm just saying she's a great talent from the the standpoint of your your company letting her beat a man for your championship just makes it lose all credibility when everybody knows she would have got the beat if, if it was on some reason. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's it. You can mute me mute, again. Mute. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All right. A a anytime, any anytime you want to say something, Antonio, just just give me a wave and I'll I'll I'll, I'll mute I'll unmute you and we'll all shut up. But yeah, there we go. That's the way to uh, do it. Oh Let's God! Let's funny bone. Can we talk about some news before we go into dynamite? Okay, um, I got to talk about this Marty Skrull stuff because I I yeah. was blown away when I saw. I've been saying it for months that he was going to AEW. I'm losing my reputation here on this one. Oops, well, died go ahead, on that go one. ahead, go ahead, and say what you want to say. But well, I have I, I have a theory I'm gonna put forward after you're done. Well, the the only way that I can okay, he he's got he's one of the head bookers now working mm -hmm. with delirious. I don't know that he's the top guy, but he's, he's in the mix. Uh, the rumor that met, well, not rumor Meltzer is saying that they backed up the truck, like WWE main roster money, 500 K a year. So, so that's, and, and look at the dates versus the main roster dates. Mm -hmm. um, and, and he's going to be allowed to work for new Japan. And PWG, that's more money. Yeah. It the the big thing for me, are they going to let him work for AEW? I think what's gonna happen is I think he's positioned they they they, they put him in a position. Uh oh, Antonio's shaking his head. Hang on a minute. All right, we're all good. He, oh, he he's froze up. Okay. 
As soon as, as, soon as I see movement, I'll, I'll let him talk. But okay, here's what I think is going to happen. I think they've put him in that position so that he can kind of finagle things with New Japan uh, because he's, he is big over there and the relationship with them, because the relationship with them is actually kind of getting strained because um, New Japan's talking about coming over to America. Um, I think that that's what they're kind of leaning towards is that is an eventual kind of worlds collide thing. But that's all Ring of Honor's side. I yeah. get why they are paying him, why they sign him, why they want him. Why did Marty Skrull sign the dotted line? That's that's what confuses me. A lot of cash, man. And control? Okay, hang on a minute. You don't think AEW offered him some cash? Control? I'm, I'm telling you, I think... Not control, I think, no. No. But when I your best friends are in control, you got to think you're getting some control. I'm floored, man. I, yeah. I can't wrap my head around this one. I was Before very surprised. Why? You know, but I mean, he's going to do that stuff with Ald- uh, uh, uh Magnus, uh, Aldis, whatever his name is. Oh, because yeah, because he can go to Nick NWA Aldis. too. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Sometimes when you think you're you're good, you want to take some. All right, here's a little comic book history. Neil Adams took on Marvel's worst tight, uh, worst selling book, which was X Men, because he wanted to take the worst selling book and make it good, and he did. And uh, you know, maybe that's what Squirrel's all about right now. What's the same thing we talk about AEW? Do mm-hmm. you want to re-sign with WWE and and get that safe check, or do you want to change the world and make history? Mm-hmm. And yeah. it's just, I agree, it's the well, same type of thing. There's also the thing that he's looking at. You got to look at it from this uh, point of view as well. He can be the top guy over there. He's yeah, not going to sure. be the top. He's not going to be the top guy at AEW. No, no. You know, and I think what we're what we're seeing here is they're telling him, look, we will give you the freedom to do whatever you want. But I think as long, this, as, this long panel, as, it, as long as it doesn't affect us in a negative way, you can do whatever you want, and we're going to pay you to stay here and be our top guy. But I think this panel is – we're some of the most extreme wrestling fans probably in the country, mm-hmm. right? I mean, look how much wrestling we watch per week. How many of us watch Ring of Honor? I watch like 10 minutes. <laughs> I record it every week, and then I delete it off the DVR and don't watch it. Yeah. Because Ring of Honor has sucked since AEW started. But here's the thing with Marty and now being part of the booking team, that's putting that's 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 creating we're talking about it. You know, like you said, we're a bunch of we're a bunch of uh, of wrestling fanatics and we're talking about Ring of Honor for the first time in how many sure. months? Sure. Yeah, it's, it's, but he's been there. It's, he's been there and I've not been watching. So I don't know. I right. don't know. I, I'm I mean, just I'm just shocked, man. I think I'm I think shocked. it's kind of along the same lines as what as uh, as impacts uh, uh, moves with Tessa Blanchard. A lot of that is just they're trying to get eyes on the company. Sure. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I was don't get me wrong. I was shocked too. I was like, I was 100 percent sure this guy was going to freaking AEW. 100 percent sure. Um, but if if the amount of money that he was promised, which they said is 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 high six fit is uh, mid to high six figures, which is around five hundred grand, and they made him uh, co booker, and gave him freedom to go and do whatever he wants, which like you said, he go he can go to PWG or he can go to New Japan, which is more money. That's a, Brian Caraway in the chat is talking about main roster money and that these guys don't make the money that people think. That, sure. Right, sure. We're talking but about we're talking about the top top ta- the top level. He's talent. making good money. Yeah, and then you okay. If you're in the WWE, how much money do you get off a t shirt? Nothing, nothing. nothing. Like so he is making. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He he is making main roster money. He's making pro wrestling tees money. He's making indie booking money with PWG. Uh, he's going to get paid extra for New Japan. He has set himself up to make big time money. Uh, yeah, this New year, Japan this will New Japan will let him go over, over there and wrestle anytime he wants. Yeah, he, he he is going to be making more money than people on the main roster if what yeah. Meltzer reported is accurate. And at yeah. Ring of Honor, he only has to do like forty dates or something. Like yeah, that. the dates there. Yeah, nothing. they yeah they cut down they cut down how much he, he doesn't have to work all the house shows and stuff. He can and even it. on the dates, like when you do TV tapings, they show up and it's like a weekend deal. You're not you're not pulling in and then doing a show and then driving six hours, doing another show, then driving eight hours and doing another show. You're in the same town for three or four nights doing TV tapings. Yep. 
But um, no, I, I was very, very shocked. I was, I mean, I was shocked by it. But after looking at the details, I'm like, yeah, I can see why he pulled the trigger on that. And that's, and here's the thing. We haven't seen exactly uh, uh, the details of his deal. He might be able to go to AEW and wrestle a couple of matches for them. That's yeah. what I'm wondering if that was the. That was what, part of the clincher. Yeah. Because if you think about it from Ring of Honor's perspective, they're like, if our top guy goes over there and gets buzz. Oh, yeah. People are going to more eyes on us. Yeah. hundred percent. You know, because they're in a they're in a bad they're in a bad place right now, like you said. So. So Antonio is dead. Uh, Let's talk about AEW Dynamite. All right. Okay. Um, I thought it was a good show. I thought it was good, too. I enjoyed it. Um, I enjoyed it. I, 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 the fatal four way, it, it started off um, like a more traditional match and then it turned into the absolute n- insanity that AEW uh, tag matches do. But it was fun. Um, it, was it was fun. It was very fun. Um, I also loved, uh, dude, I, I just love the look of the show this week. Where they 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 dressed it they, like they're because they were in my oh yeah they're bash at the beach app yeah, yeah even the even uh what's his name the ring Excal- like, oh coming, yeah out in the shorts with the shirt and everything man I want to know how much the chick got paid that's what oh I want my to know. God. sitting there as a lifeguard I, I, out. I need CPR mm. dude I'm I'm Love amazed that uh, Sammy didn't uh, take a detour over there he blew her a kiss though did you that yeah, was that was yeah. good stuff that was yeah. good stuff. But uh, yeah, dude, uh, I, I, and I'll tell you what, I like the storyline that they're doing with uh, Omega, Paige, and the Young Bucks. I think uh, uh, Paige is the storyline of the year that I'm starting to pay attention to mostly right now. Yeah. It's when I'm like invested in, I'm, I'm starting to become invested in it. Because it's one of those things where it is, is this going to, is this going to be him turning heel? Is it, is it uh, something else? I mean, it's, it's, because they made it, they made it clear. It's not like he's, He's being a jerk. He's being a jerk, but it's like <laughs> he's being a jerk, but he's de- he's depressed about it. It's it's I don't know. It's it's you mix alcohol into it and him yep. being depressed. It's a good storyline. And what I like about AEW is things drag on. It's not a one or two week deal and it's done. This has been going on for a while. The Cody MJF stuff has been going on forever, and it's like no, I'll give you my answer next week. Then you show up the next week and you just continue to build on it. And that's what, uh, I mean, we're still talking AEW, but you know, they talked about the, the extension with TNT through 2023, but part of the deal was they're adding a second show. I hope it's not a pure wrestling show. I hope it's something else. They do not need two wrestling shows. It's going to get oversaturated and it's going to kill what's special about AEW. Um, the, the, uh, the rumor is that, uh, they're going to move dark to uh i saw that they were leaving dark on youtube see i want that's what i want them to do i want them to leave dark on youtube but one of the rumors that i saw was that they were going to move dark as their second show to like saturday and i'm hoping that's not the case but i do think i agree with you i want if they do do another show i want it to be uh a show with it that it's more of a an angle thing and less and maybe a little bit less wrestling what i like that aew does is like their their promo packages where mm-hmm. it almost feels like the ufc Right, they show guys training or doing certain things. I like that. I, I like, I like seeing who these guys are, even if it's real or fake. I don't, I don't care. Characters make wrestling. I just, I, I would rather it be dark than you have dynamite dark on YouTube and then a second show. Yeah. I think, I think a second show kills it. I think it kills it. Yeah, but um, okay. So uh, uh what'd you guys? Uh, and so, th- th- man, I'll tell you what. Th- th- the the match as crazy as it got, I love the way it ended with uh, a little bit of controversy where he he uh he, he pulled Nick Jackson over the top rope. Yeah, uh, I think the uh, Bucks shouldn't have been so angry about it. I, I mean, it's no. like, oh, I just because you're my friend. <laughs> yeah, well, it's it's the it's it, it's the whole they're trying to build an angle. Uh, yeah, Cody no, cut, the Cody's promo was fantastic. Uh, I like the promo. shot at Jim Cornette. Did you guys sh- did you catch that? Yeah. Talk Wait, about MJ. You talk about MJF and how he's a true old school heel, and less is more. <laughs> and then they even threw in a Kevin Owens quote: "Less isn't more. Less less is more just means you're lazy and don't want to do anything." Yep, that was yeah. I I, I as soon as he said that, I was like, "Ooh, he's taking a little bit of a shot at old school there." <laughs> but uh, real quick, shout out Wrestling Forever ninety three. Thanks for being here, man. Um, but subscribe yeah, subscribe to the channel. Hit yes, that thumbs up. Subscribe, share it out, guys. The more eyes we get in here, and and again, if we ever get 
was it fi- was it 50? 50. 50. If we get I've 50, already packed up the Andre and moved. Yeah, if we get 50, if we get 50 uh people in here, man, we will give away that uh that uh limited edition Andre the Giant. And there'll be more to come. Yeah, oh yeah, dude. Oh, I'm, 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 stuff over and here. Thing, I'm going to dynamite on the 29th, man. Me and Frank, me and Frank Barrett are going to dynamite 29th, man. I'm all I'm all about buying some dude. Stuff. I you stuff. need to do some live streams from there. We'll I'm gonna it try, out. dude. I've yeah. got a I've got a camera ordered, but it's uh, it's like back ordered, and I'm like, oh god, please go. Oh, a vlog, a vlog would be great. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm hoping that because because the way that they do their uh their the uh their meet and greets and stuff, they just come down in the ring and talk to people. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I would love to do something like that, but um yeah, I thought the Cody. Uh, I thought the Cody. Uh, uh, bit, the Statlander, uh, Sheeta versus um, the Nightmare Collective. Uh, remember we were talking about Black Hole Man. You got two of the best women wrestlers on the roster, and the crowd's sitting on their hands because yeah, they yeah. do not care about because Brandy Rhodes. Every time Brandy and this Nightmare Collective thing comes into the building, they suck the energy right out of it. It doesn't make any difference how good the wrestling is in the ring. That nobody cares about this angle. But here's the here's the thing that gives me hope about this match. I ended this match with a little bit of hope in my heart. The Nightmare Collective lost. Yep, I agree. I that was and the I, one saving grace of this match. And I think they did that on purpose. I think they I think they said, okay, we get it. We hear you guys. And then there was dissension in this Nightmare Collective. I think this thing's going to disintegrate and it's going to turn into something else. I did think you see what it. Brandy Rhodes was wearing? Did you see it? Did yeah. you see? It? Were yeah. you looking? Yule, were you looking? No, I actually wasn't. <laughs> Yule. Yule. I'll go back and look Yule. at it. Yule. Hmm. You know what I'm saying. She's it's what me and Antonio have been saying for months. Stand yeah. beside Cody Rhodes yeah. and look good. Yeah. That's what she needs to do. She is she is smoking hot, man. There's a lot of times where a significant <laughs> other of a wrestler gets involved. And it just drags whatever's going on for yeah. them down. <laughs> and here's the thing, and here's the thing. what they said from the beginning. We're going to listen. Yeah. AEW is going to listen to the fans, right? Yep. Young Bucks both leave Twitter because they're getting too much criticism. The Nightmare Collective goes hand in hand with that. It, it's They are not listening. If you continue to do this, you are not listening. Why? Because it's your wife. So, oh, well, I'll just let her do what she wants. And then I, I, I don't want to argue with a new listener, Wrestling Forever. DDP does not need to be <laughs> in a ring wrestling. Yeah. Well, we're, we're well, gonna get to that. there's Dustin Rhodes in the same ring. We're going to get to that. Okay. Uh, next <laughs> up, we got Moxley versus Guevara. That match was way better than I thought it was going to be. Um, it was clear that Guevara was outgunned. And uh, started doing the uh, the uh, underhanded stuff to get the advantage. And once he did, he pulled some pretty sick moves out to put some impact on that match. Uh, it wasn't a typical John Moxley match where he was just where they were just beating the living hell out of each other. But I liked it, man. I thought it was good. And then the, the, the angle that happened after that, they're continuing again. Jericho is just he, he's. He's awesome. He, he's he's the best. And so is Moxley. Right yes. So is Moxley. So you put them together, and it's gold, man. Oh my god, you you yeah. didn't like this. You didn't like this. Spike? Oh, you did. No, no, no. Well, I mean, there's the uh, <laughs> there's the implications of stabbing someone in the eye. <laughs> I wish you would have hit him in the forehead, and he would. Yeah, and, and just it just bladed. Yeah. yeah. I mean, my favorite part of that though is when uh, uh, so I I saw the the live during commercial part. And uh, they go over to check on Moxley, and Aubrey Edwards is there, and she gives this like face, like she's so disgusted at what she's seeing. It's pretty hilarious. Yeah, well, they, can't, <laughs> they can't all be great actors, man. No, no, it was good. I mean, it, but, um, it was it was perfect. Okay, for, so you know. now we come to we come to the uh, the topic of discussion. Diamond Dallas Page, DDP, DDP Marshall, and Dustin Rhodes versus the Butcher uh, the Blade and MGF. And First MGF of all, why is DDP Marshall there? Sure. Why is DDP Marshall there? Why is he there? Because he's their friend. That's a problem. That's a problem. <laughs> he's only there to sell DDP white DVDs. Okay. All right. Let, let, me, let, me, let me just say this. Okay, go ahead. I got a lot of friends, friends that like wrestling. Who hosts this show with me? I cherry. This was my baby. I went to Antonio, and then I cherry picked guys I wanted on this show. Comic Book Bob came on as a guest, killed it. So I cherry picked him. 
you're in. Sometimes you need to put friendships aside and go with who you think is entertaining. I'm sorry. It's the truth. If any of my friends are listening. <laughs> hey, man. Let's continue. Um, Let's continue. Yeah, so okay. did you- Really glad he was able to walk away from that yeah. match. So yeah. that's a yeah, good I thing. I was very scared about that. That last diamond cutter, cutter, he kind of did a little deeper than I thought he was going to do it. <laughs> um, I'm going to tell you something. He did. I'm, I'm going to give this. I'm, I'm going to give this a diamond down his page. The dude can move a lot better than most people his age have any business doing. But all he did was take the hot tag. Yeah, well, you know, Jimmy Valiant can take that, a hot tag that, at ninety. He, he did that dive off the top rope into the outside man. That was I'm like I'm, I'm going to give him his credit. He's he's DDPY is no joke, but man, the whole match I'm watching this going, I'm I'm really hoping he doesn't break a hip. You know, it's just I mean, I don't want to see him too much more though, please. I don't Did want to see him ever again. No, and, and well, and, uh, the, the, word, the word's coming out that this is his last match. Oh, yeah. Um, it was a very, very simple and basic ma- The match yeah. actually was pretty good. I actually yeah. thought it was good. And I, I, I'm, I, I feel sorry for DDP because his ribs are still taped from the 90s in Nitro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's still recovering from those NWO beat Dude, I tell you, man. Those I'm going to tell you. Guys. I... You know what? I I give I give this I give this match a pass. I th- it was it, it was better than I thought it was going to be, but I think it was mostly better because of the people that were involved in it. Dustin, he can still go. We've seen it. MJF, he's in it. He QT made Marshall. QT Marshall. He's the guy. Uh, dude, the guy. <laughs> the guy is the guy is not bad. He just he's just like a he's like a placeholder character. You know, it's right. like he's like what are we what are we are we supposed to care about this guy? Wrestling Forever says, do you guys think this will happen with Matt Hardy? His contract's up. I could see him wanting to come over to AEW and do the whole delete crap. I don't think think it's not him. I think he's going to be the – I think he's coming, and I think he's going to be the leader of the Dark Council. (sighs) You know what, though? I think they're going to retool that to work with him, and they're going to change it up. Edge will only go back to WWE. Yeah, Edge is going to be a WWE guy forever. Matt but I think Hardy. Matt Hardy. I think Matt Hardy is almost again, unless something happens like a like a Marty Scroll thing. I think Matt Hardy is is heading to a, is heading to AEW. Oh man, I, he, you you're you getting the, into that dangerous territory that we talked about with AEW. Don't just go sign anybody that's willing to come from WWE right. because yeah. Matt Hardy. Yes, it, it, it's name recognition, and you need that to a certain extent. But Matt Hardy, we we talked about him a couple of weeks ago. Dude's got stiff legs. The dude can barely get up off the mat. Yeah. Um, but did you uh do you uh do you uh, watch his channel or anything like that? He did a, one of those uh from the throne. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And uh, he was and he was actually talking about how it's a like, it's a great time. He was actually kind of parroting some of the stuff we say. It's a great time to be a wrestling fan. WWE kill is is great. Um AEW came on the scene and it's huge. You know, he's actually he's actually mentioning them by name. So um but uh, yeah, I mean, it's. I think uh, unless something major happens, I think he's heading to AEW. But all right, that last match, Darby Allen versus Pac. Antonio, please hit the like button while you're down there in the live. <laughs> yeah, <room>. seriously. <laughs> Make sure you're subscribed to the channel because I'm not sure you are. And hit the bell for notifications. Yeah, that's the things Jeez. you can do here. Go ahead, Bob. Um, sorry. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, wrestling for uh, wrestling ninety three for uh, um. The uh, Matt uh, Matt Hardy being the leader of the Dark Order is like a, is like a big uh, is a big theory, and I think it's something that if they if let me put it this way if they give the Dark Order to Matt Hardy as creative and good as he is, I think he could turn it into something. Manager, if you sign yeah, Matt yes. Hardy, I don't want him to be in the. That would be great. I want him to be the 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 Jim Jones. Yep, I would what be man? all in on that. So in that Dark Order uh, video where they were actually talking about losers in mm-hmm. AEW. I liked it. Yep. Uh, it was, what, Player 2? Uh, yeah, yeah, it was uh, um, um, Ryan about, Cutler. Yeah, well, he was talking to, do we know who it was? was no, that I don't, I don't think that? that's Stu Grayson. I think that's I some random. I think yeah. it's some random dude talking. Yeah. is that, oh, that's, that's, not Stu, that's not Stu Grayson. I don't I'm think so. Confused. <laughs> but um, but yeah, the the Darby Allen versus Pack, like like you said, even though Darby Allen was 
obviously physically outmatched the way he was throwing his way. And this is what I comes when it comes, like I was talking about, it is so important to teach your talent how to sell. You got to teach them how to sell their moves. You got to teach them how to throw their moves and how to sell them. He was, he was basically throwing, using his body as a weapon. Cause he knew that that's the only way he could handle pack and pack. And, and there were times when he tried it and pack just manhandled him, just beat him down. Uh, I thought this match was great. I thought it was, was fan. I'm, I'm, I'm turning into a Darby Allen fan. That'll be the show closer. Uh, Antonio in the chat. We'll get there. Uh, <laughs> I, I love this match too. It was stiff. It was hard hitting Dar. I, what I like about Darby Allen, he seems like he does not give a damn. Like he yep. will hit you in the mouth and then you can just hit him as hard as you want. And, and Pac did just that. Pac beat the hell out of Darby Allen. His, his career is going to be short lived. He's not going to oh, be able yeah. to he's, walk. He's, like we were just talking about Matt Hardy. He's going to be another Matt. Yeah. Hardy. Yeah. He, he's not going to be able to walk in his 30s. Yeah. But I, I love this match. They had some good pinning combinations there towards the end. Uh, Pac gets over strong. I liked it. I like the fact that, you know, the whole mock still at the end. Because I thought, okay, maybe the, you know, we talk about AEW extending angles. I thought maybe. Pac is going to be the number one contender. He'll lose to Jericho, and then we'll kind of keep building this Mox thing. But no, then Mox comes back out. I, I liked it. What did you think, Yul? Did you dig it? Uh, yeah, I really liked it. Um, if you're playing by typical, uh, you know, face heel, you know, matchups, then yeah, you were looking at Moxley. But AEW does throw uh, wrenches in that whole scenario from time to time. At least we've seen that so far. So I could see Pac actually winning that match next week, but it looks like it's Moxley. <laughs> Ryan Caraway says, with all these WWE guys coming over to AEW, guys like Darby Allen will get buried. I don't uh, think so. And, well, that was one of my complaints earlier. The match that, Bob, you said you liked. Uh, what was it? What was it? What was it? I got to go back. I got to find it. Oh, Sammy, Sammy, Sammy Guevara and John Moxley. That did, the match was okay, but when I see jacked John Moxley in the ring with Sammy Guevara, and it kind of feels like 50-50, give and take, that doesn't work for me, whereas this main event worked because Pac beat the hell out of Darby Allen. Yeah. Well, the difference, uh, what I'll say about that match is, in the beginning, Moxley was just manhandling. He just slapped. He was like he, was, he wasn't taking him seriously. He was smacking him around. It wasn't until Guevara pulled something underhand and then continually stayed on top of it to capitalize on it. That's when Guevara started pulling his moves. But, but at, at a point in the match, it was like Moxley was like, all right, enough of this crap. I'm going to spank this kid. And that's when he just beat the living hell out of him. But if you bring in a guy like Drew McIntyre, Darby Allen's going to struggle to find his place. Oh, you God, know? yeah. Size is going to make a difference there. So I, will I, Kenny I, Omega. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, sure. I mean, I think – I mean, we're, we're going to get a, we're gonna get a litmus test on this because uh, when, uh, when Brian Cage gets there – um. Ugly, he's going right? to skyrocket to the top. Yeah, and we'll see because he's a he's a big he's a big dude. He's a great wrestler too. Um, yeah, but um, yeah, and then uh, the angle at the end with uh, Moxley uh, versus Pack at uh, was it the uh, Rock and Rager the the cruise? Yeah, that's where Dynamite's going to be filmed next week. Right? Yeah, which is going to be cool. interesting. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, um, let's can the, we take it home with the Triple H stuff? That's what. Yeah, that's what Antonio. Yep. We're, yeah, we're heading. We're heading time. I was going to say. Let's bring. Uh, we got to bring that up because. Everybody was talking about it. Oh, you didn't see it? I mean, Everybody I know was he's talking said. about it. I thought it was a big deal. I was like, oh, man, what did he say? Did he say something about the sex tape or, yeah. you know, what, what's, the, what's he talking about here? And then I go and listen. And if he had said it about any dude in the company, everybody would have laughed and we would have moved yeah. on. And that's all. It's all he said was, I think Paige has some kids out there that she probably doesn't know about. Which yeah, it's it, a joke, man. Which initially, which initially, when I heard it, I was like, "That's what he was." He, he wasn't taking a shot at her. He was like, I mean, "Making he, a joke." He was it's making a joke. joke. He's like, you know, I thought it, it's it's typical Triple H humor. You know how many horse face jokes Lillian Garcia had to put up with oh, all the time God. in front of real audiences. Yeah, <laughs> and and, and like you said, people like, watching. Like you said, if he said it about the way the way I took it initially was he's treating her like one of the guys. Yeah, you know, it's, like because like if he said anything about a guy, I'd be like, oh okay, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> everybody. Dude, if he said that funny. about Ric Flair, everybody would have died laughing. Yep. And uh, but because uh, because she has been getting 
She's been taking some digs because of uh, all this stuff coming out about her from people online. She just was like, oh, well, my boss is doing it too. And I was just like, yeah, okay. I mean, I mean, yeah, I, I get it. Nobody likes to be... Nobody likes to be the bad guy all the time. Nobody likes to be piled on all the time. Who said she was a but, bad guy? Who said well, she I'm was just, bad? I'm just, I'm just saying. It's like, okay, I mean, you know, yeah, you, you, you know, he, he said he was sorry. What's, where's the controversy now? So, I don't know. I think the stuff with Tessa Blanchard was way more controversial. Yeah, yeah. you know. Okay. Now, now, Wrestling Forever did bring up a point. He said he thinks it was a bigger deal because Paige has had a troubled life. So um, have we all. So have we all. Well, you know, I yeah, mean, it's her when, when you when you when you have someone who's not only your your boss but your friend, you might expect a little bit different from them. So I'll I'll, I'll give you that. I just don't think it's as big a deal as everybody. I don't think it was. I don't think he intended anything. You know what I mean? It's the internet. That's the problem. Yeah, yeah. and I think, and I honestly think if uh, she, if she had like not gone on the internet and just went and said, "Hey, you know, that kind of hurt my feelings," he probably would have been like. You know, hey, I'm sorry. You know, I, you know exactly, and it, it would have been it over. Didn't be, it didn't need to be turned into the thing that it was turned into. Right, right. Um, but uh, and also um, uh, yeah. And uh, Ikari supposed to Stephanie talked to her as well. So I mean, you know, it's if it's your friend and your friend takes a dig at you when you're when you're having a having a problem. You know, I can see that. I can see that. You but apologize, I, you move on, and I think that's what they're doing. Yeah, and I think that's what they're trying. Well, I think it's what they're trying to do, but I think that the internet's kind of like you know, it's the it's the internet. We all love drama. Yeah, and but um, can you provide that isn't on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, aside from it. All right. So uh, thanks for being here this week, guys. Uh, that's uh, pretty much it. We're at the, we're at our time in here. Unfortunately, Antonio's not here to. to He's to, to, dead. He's he dead. was pulling back into the old days. So who's hosting next week? Yeah, Antonio. I think it's Antonio. <laughs> he'll Not be at home. living over there right now. <laughs> yeah, he'll be at home. But um, yeah, he'll be back. I, uh, subscribe to the channel, Akari Press. You can see it in the live chat right now. I will be dropping all that stuff into the uh, the link for this as well. Um, next week, what are we talking, guys? Are we talking uh, Royal Rumble predictions? What are we doing? I don't know. When is the Royal Rumble? Two weeks from now? A week from now? So 29th is it's and uh there's gonna be that NXT thing coming up. Yeah. When it, yeah, yeah. And then that other NXT thing coming up. Oh How about this? God. We'll talk about wrestling. All right. Twenty <laughs> sixth is uh Royal Rumble. It's coming. So uh but yeah. Who gets the host after that? Me? I think it's How do you. I look into the big ones all the time? I <laughs> well, love this. You started it. <laughs> Yeah, but right. anyway, guys, thanks for being here. Um, we appreciate it, guys. And uh, yeah, check us out next week on uh, Antonio's channel. Um, <laughs> till then, hey, all the wrestling council guys, have a good hey, one. All the interviews, guys. Bye. Excellent. <laughs>